on this side of Easter, it's always good for us to see how those people reacted that were there with Jesus that first Easter morning. Let's start with Peter. Peter is the bold one. Lord, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, was his confession. After that, Jesus is with the disciples again. They're in the Mount of Olives. And as they are there, Jesus says to the disciples that you will all fall away on account of me. Peter comes back again and says, Lord, even if they fall away, I won't fall away. And then Jesus speaks directly to Peter. He says, Peter, you will deny me three times before the rooster crows. Peter responds again in that confidence and boldness. Lord, even if I have to die, I won't deny you. Well, we know what happens. We know as Jesus is arrested and there in the courtyard, people are questioning Peter about his association with Jesus. And there Peter denies his Savior three times. And then the rooster crows. Peter remembers what Jesus said, and he's broken. Broken because his confession of faith is not what he said it would be. Broken because he sees his sin. It might appear that it would be all over for Peter. Who could recover from that? But there, on the first day of the week, on the new day, the resurrection day, Jesus comes and stands in the midst of the disciples and says, Peace be with you. It's His words right there with them that draw them back to hope and forgiveness. His words with them that echo back to what He said on Friday. It is finished. Your sin, all of it finished by Jesus' very blood on the cross. The very Lamb of God that came to take away the sin of the world died for Peter's sin and for ours. And there, as Jesus says, peace be with you, He restores him. We hear that again as Jesus goes back to Peter. Peter, feed my sheep. Peter, feed my lambs. Peter, feed my sheep. Jesus reminding Peter that he needs him in the kingdom and that he has a task to do. Well, dear saints, you and I, oftentimes our confession does not meet what we've said. We sin in thought, word, and deed. We do not do what we promise that we'll do. And those words from Easter Sunday are great words for us as well. Peace be with you. Your sin is forgiven by the risen Christ. We hear later in Peter's life as he writes his epistle something very, very encouraging for us. Peter writes in the first chapter that we have something far better than even standing there and seeing Jesus eye to eye or hearing God speak like they did at the transfiguration. We have the prophetic word. We have the very word of God preached into our ears and preached to us as we are absolved of our sins, dear saint. That is peace be with you. Go in His peace. Your sins are forgiven by the risen Christ who rose and lives today. 